Hello, this is the third part of chapter 5.2, and we will talk about the matrix similarity. And in matrices, similarity means a very, very specific properties. For example, if there is two matrices, A and B, and we say that they are similar, when there is exist invertible matrix C such that in inverse of P, time matrix A time P will be equal matrix B. So this is the similarity properties. And I know it doesn't really sound quite useful to you, probably wondering why do we talk about this matrix properties in the eigenvalue chapter? But this similarity is something important, uh, provide a very important uh, results for the characteristic equations. Because if there are two matrices A and B are similar, and we use that property as a similarity, then they have exactly the same characteristic equation and exactly the same eigenvalues. And that property is really important, so important that I decided to go ahead and actually work through the proof. Because and you also have a several similar proofs in the uh, assignment. So let's just try to prove this property. And let's start with the similarity formulas for uh, matrix B is similar matrix A. And there is the um, similarity property defined as inverse of matrix B times A times B. OK, so let's write, let's try to move toward our characteristic equations. So let's try to write down B minus lambda I matrix. So, and again, we take our lab matrix B and write it down as a similarity property of matrix A. And for our um, second part, instead of identity matrix, we replace them with a the product of inverse of matrix P by P itself. We know that the inverse matrix uh, when multiply by itself, it always give us identity matrix. So there is no reason to not use this property. Okay, so now we will factor out this inverse of P to the left. And we'll end up with this expression, which still contain both elements of which contain matrix P. So we factor out now matrix P to the right. And what we get is very, very interested. We uh, start with the matrix B minus lambda I, and we end up with a similarity equation applied to the matrix A. So what, what we get is matrix B minus lambda I is actually similar to matrix A minus lambda I very interesting properties. But it's not what we're looking for. We are looking at the characteristic equation, which is determinant of B minus lambda I. Okay, let's use our result we find in the previous line and calculate its determinant. And again, we know that the determinant has a multiplication properties. So we can break down the products into the products of determinant. We can write it down as determinant of inverse P times determinant A minus lambda I times determinant of P. And here it's very important to remember that determinants are just numbers. So we can, they can be multiplied in any order. So there is no reason to not multiply these two determinants in red brackets and then the third one. So let's calculate this determinant. And again, so you can use the rules of determinant to switch from product of two determinants to determinant of the products. And of course, inverse of P times P will give us an identity matrix, which determinant is always equal one. So now we can go back to the previous line and basically cancel out the expressions in the right blocks and write it down as determinant of A minus lambda I. And those are exactly what we're looking for. We have a characteristic equation of matrix B. We have a characteristic equation of matrix A. 
And if one of them is equal to zero, the second one is also equal to zero. So our characteristic equations for matrix A and B are exactly the same, which means that they will have exactly the same eigenvalues. So the similarity of the matrix, and we will use it later extensively. However, there is, I would very be uh, caution you against a very common mistake. So this theorem only is one directional. So if matrices are similar, the equation, the characteristic equations will be the same. However, it doesn't work in the opposite order. If we have same characteristic equation, it doesn't mean that the matrices are similar. For example, here, there's a couple of matrices, A and B, which has the same characteristic equations, but they are not similar. So be very careful with these properties. Okay, now you can go to the end of the chapter 5.2 and maybe practice a little bit of working with a similar matrices.